Hey everyone, Attorney Matthew Legan Sanchez here. Let's talk about fighting back against false allegations in your custody or time sharing case. There's a number of common false allegations that you're gonna see in your custody case. There's allegations such as mental health issue, substance abuse issues, issues in your home, CYFD involvement, maybe there's a false restraining order. Those are pretty common false, false allegations. They're gonna be common with your custody case and you're gonna to need to recognize some of the ways to fight back. The very first important step, you have to gather your evidence. Gather text messages, gather any communications. Do you have any witnesses? All of that information is gonna be very necessary and able to show that the false allegations, they lack merit. A false allegation, if they're ultimately there's no truth to it, you really don't have much to worry about. So if your ex is claiming that there's domestic violence in your home, but there's not, shouldn't be too much of an issue. If your ex is claiming that you are violent or that you have substance abuse problems, well, then you're gonna to need to be clean on your test. So your ex, if she makes a false allegation, there is usually a kernel of truth within that. Let's say possibly you have an anger problem, but then it's blown up to there's domestic violence in your home and CYFDs involved and you're a danger to the child. So you're gonna to need to be upfront with your attorney about what the actual truth is because your attorney can fight it in court if there's enough time to prepare. Your attorney can look for evidence such as, did CYFD actually substantiate the claims? Is there domestic violence? Did it result in charges? Was it dismissed? When was it filed? All of this information your attorney can get to the bottom of and your attorney can look at all of it. So be upfront with your attorney. Tell your attorney the good facts and the bad facts because your attorney can fight the facts in court, but your attorney's gonna need some time to prepare for that in order to get you situated as best as possible. Is there a lack of evidence? Is there a lack of text messages and pictures? Is there a lack of police involvement? Is there a lack of CYFD involvement? Sometimes fighting is not just showing what you have, it's showing what the other party doesn't have. So it's not gonna really make sense to your hearing officer and judge if they're claiming that you're abusive, if there's not police involvement, and there's not CYFD involvement, and there's not substantiation of abuse. A timeline is crucial. Create a timeline of the events. If your ex, files a restraining order claiming that you abused her two weeks ago, what's the timeline look like? Has there been any involvement? Was there any police involvement? Were you communicating with text messages all the way up to the filing and maybe even after? Timeline is crucial. If your ex is claiming that there was abuse and it was months ago and you're having a normal relationship, you're communicating fine, you're interacting, and then suddenly a restraining order or a claim is filed, it's not gonna make sense to your judge or your hearing officer. So so a timeline is going to be crucial. Uh, show as much time between the incident and the filing as possible. Maybe there's also some other issues that came up. Maybe you've gotten into a new relationship. Something along those lines that bugged your ex and now she's trying to bug you with a false claim. Possibly your ex is claiming that you have an unsafe home, your children aren't safe in your care. So some evidence you're gonna look at for to fight back against that claim, look for a report card, look for attendance, maybe a teacher will be willing to testify. If they're claiming that the home is not safe and that the schooling is not being done right, but the report card and everything else doesn't support that, then the claim's not gonna have as much merit and the judge isn't gonna take it as seriously. Look. Some of the biggest signs that there's issues within the home is that there's issues in school. So if your child is suddenly having issues in school with attendance, with behavior, acting out, that's gonna be a clear telltale sign to your judge that something's wrong. So you're gonna need to get a handle on that. Don't have excessive tardies. Don't have excessive absences. If there's behavioral problems, get your child into counseling, get treatment for that because these are signs that there's a problem within your home and that could really affect your case and it could give some meat to the argument that there's something wrong in your home. So 
fight back against false allegations by having stability within your home. Do you still have questions about your case? Do you have questions about false allegations? Then call me, call attorney Matthew Legan Sanchez at 505 Sanchez.